Hey guys, what is going on? I hope you all are doing well today. I am doing great myself. Elliot here, welcome back to the fragrance well. So, a common discussion in Fragcom is going to be where are you buying your fragrances from? How much did you pay for that? What kind of discount did you get for it? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that's today's topic. I am going to share some of the main places that I get my fragrances from. I'm going to share five locations or really five websites, if you will, that I buy a majority of my fragrances from. I'm going to share two purchases from each of those websites. Before we move on, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you like the content, hit that bell icon so you can be notified when I upload new content. All right, guys, let's get into it. Okay, welcome back. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go in order from the place I've bought the least amount of fragrances from at this point in time to the places I've bought the most fragrances from. This is not a ranking in terms of which I think is best. It, I'm just doing it based off of where I have the most buying experience. So first up, we've got MaxAroma.com. MaxAroma.com has been, I would say, making waves in the fragrance buying experience they're more so gonna compete with, they're kind of sitting in between places like Twisted Lily and the more popular discounters like Fragrance Buy and Fragrance Net to where they sell stuff at full retail but they have deals that go on and to allow you to get them at a discounted rate. But not everything on the website is discounted 100% of the time. I like the deals that they have. They typically only last a couple of days, but you just gotta go to the website and see what deals they have at the time. Most of them are very good deals, but they're not always the best deals. So for that reason, I don't necessarily have a ton of purchases with them, but I have made some very good ones. Both of these that I'm gonna feature here were fragrances that I bought for half off, 50% off. That's always gonna be a good deal. First one is this one here. This is the Mean London's Amber Room. The Mean London's Amber Room. As I stated, I got this fragrance half off. It was, hang on, let me double check. It was 220 full retail, so I got it for 110 bucks. Smells great, smells amazing. Very high quality fragrance. Uh, this is pretty much their take on an Ombre Nui from Dior style fragrance. Opens up with some nice spices and citrus. I get a lot of ginger, I get bergamot. There's also some cardamom in this. There's a good amount of rose a lot of patchouli, and of course, plenty of amber accords. Even at full retail, I might consider paying for a fragrance like this. As I said, it's done very well, and at 220, that's not cheap, but that's also not ridiculous in terms of what you can find in the niche market in terms of price, but the fact that I could get this half off, had to jump on that. The second fragrance I'm gonna feature from Max Aroma is this one here. This is Next to Me from Ramon Monegal. Next to me from Ramon Monegal, as I stated, this one was also half off, so it retails for $200 at this size. This is a 50 mil. I don't know if it comes in 100, but retails at $200, so I got it for 100. I was like, hey, that is an easy decision for me because it was not a blind buy. I was familiar with the fragrance. I had smelled it before, and I almost bought it for full retail. This one opens up with a lot of peach, coconut, and melon, giving it a very fruity and somewhat tropical vibe, but the very essence of this fragrance is going to be smoky incense and woods. Pretty much presented in kind of a dry form. It's not super heavy or dense like you might find in an Amwaj Interlude Man, uh, where that one is kind of rich and dense and has a lot of leathery accords to go along with it. I don't really pick up too much leather in this fragrance. It's a very dry, smoky, woody fragrance. So yes, two fragrances that I got for half off from Max Aroma based on some deals they were having, and they are both very high quality fragrances, so I consider that a win. So check out maxaroma.com. They do have a reward system as well, but it's not necessarily the best. You have to spend a lot of money before you really start reaping the rewards, if you will, but good website to buy from, and they're constantly adding new houses as well. All right, guys, so the next place I buy my fragrances from is going to be from jomashop.com. Jomashop.com is definitely making waves in the community as being a very good newer fragrance retailer. They're actually a discount website for really everything. They got sunglasses, clothes, all kind of stuff, watches, but uh, they've really been making waves in the community for having some really awesome prices, some really great deals, and I have taken part in that. So, the first one I got from Joma Shop, this is actually my very first purchase from Joma Shop, is gonna be this here, Dior Ohm Original. Dior Homme Original. Now, before you ask, I don't know if they still have it. I kind of found it in passing. 
Ah, I love this stuff. I'm glad I did take a chance on it, but I ain't gonna lie, I was kind of nervous because <laughs> it was my first purchase from the website. I had been hearing they had had some shipping issues and this being a very difficult fragrance to find in the States for the price I got it for in particular, I was a little nervous. I thought I was just gonna get another Dior Homme 2020, but came in, it's the real thing. It's Dior Homme Original. So I got this for $100 on eBay. You can find it for maybe like 130, 140 or something like that. So this by far was a very good deal for me. I've never smelled the original Dior Homme releases way back in 2005 up to the point when they changed the formulation to Dior Homme 2020's version. But all I can say is I definitely very much enjoy this. Uh, I get all the iris, of course. This one has a little bit more of a soapy vibe to me compared to Dior Homme Intense, which was my first introduction to the, the original Dior Ohm DNA with the iris. I also pick up the leather in here. I think this is a beautiful composition. It's one of my favorite new office scents that I like to wear to work. And when I bought it from Joma Shop, uh, it came in decent timing for me. So I didn't really have any shipping issues and any fragrances I bought from them, I haven't really had any issues since. So Dior Ohm Original was my first Joma Shop purchase. All right, so the next fragrance I'm gonna feature that I bought from Joma Shop is gonna be this here. This is Papila Fico from Nishani. Papila Fico from Nishani. I got this for, let me just make sure I'm telling you the right price. Yeah, 120 bucks from uh, Joma Shop. Uh, this is not necessarily anything special about this purchase in terms of it being the second one. It was just going for a good price and I went on ahead and jumped on it because I was very curious about this fragrance. I have seen it at other discounters, so honestly, I can't tell you if it was the best price or not, but it was a good deal for it. So this fragrance here is very spicy and balsamic. That's pretty much the main characteristic you're gonna get from it. Does have some aromatic accords like lavender to give it a little bit of a soapy feel. Also, I think that gives it a little bit more versatility from it just being balsamic and spicy and that's it. Very interesting fragrance, very nice fragrance. May not be everyone's cup of tea, but I think this is very well done and I certainly enjoy the smell of it. Good purchase for me coming from jomashop.com. Like I said, I've purchased other fragrances from it, but this is just one I wanted to highlight. So Nishane's Popular Fico, another fragrance I got from jomashop.com. Very good discounter. They don't have the biggest selection, but they do have good deals. And when they have their kind of special deals, you can get even better pricing than you can see on there at a regular basis. So, you know, check out the website, see what they have. All right, guys, so the next discounter we're going to feature is going to be FragranceNet. That's, as far as I can tell, that's the next place where I bought the most fragrances from. Now, I'll be honest, I don't shop from them as much anymore. I, like a lot of people have noticed that the prices there have been going up quite a bit. They also have this weird coupon system where you gotta put in all these crazy codes to get the best price. Otherwise, the fragrance sometimes goes for over retail. But what I can say is that when I first started buying fragrances, I was using them a lot more. And I have made a couple more purchases this year. This year, I barely used them last year, but I've made a few more purchases this year, including this one here, Terre de Hermes Eau Givre. Terre de Hermes Eau Givre. Let's see, I got this one from FragranceNet for 70 bucks. This is the 50 mil bottle, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I didn't, I just, I stopped looking for 100 mil bottles, to be honest. If there's 50 mils available, I go for them or smaller because I got too many fragrances and I wear too many of them. So I'm okay with smaller bottles. I've talked about this fragrance already plenty on the channel, so I'm not gonna go too much into how it smells. It smells like grapefruit juice with a little bit of vetiver. The reason I chose to get this from FragranceNet is because this was at a time when this was a little bit hard to find. Of course, it's a popular fragrance in the community right now. So it was out of stock in a lot of places, but FragranceNet got it in and the price was actually really good. 70 bucks for this? Yes, I was more than happy to pay 70 bucks for this because honestly, I would have paid full retail for this if I wasn't able to find it anywhere else. But I'm like, hey, discounters will definitely have their hands on this, so just hold off. So yes, anyway, that's the first fragrance that I'm gonna feature getting from FragranceNet. The next one's gonna be Aqua de Jo Profumo. Aqua de Jo Profumo from Giorgio Ormani. This is the 75 mil and I got this from fragrance net for $95. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I don't know if that was a great price or not, but I do know what this was going for at full retail, so it was definitely a pretty good discount as best as I can tell, and I do know that I think Perfumo never really was super discounted on discounters, but it obviously was cheaper than buying it directly from the store. You probably know about it. It's an aquatic scent that features a good amount of spiciness as well as incense and patchouli, which is what sets this one apart from a lot of the other Aqua de Jo fragrances. This had been officially discontinued at the time that I got it, so 
before the stock really dried up, I said, let me go ahead and get a bottle of it because I always said if I'm going to get an Aqua de Joe, it's going to be this one. So I decided to grab it and I'm glad I did because I have smelled the new Parfum. I know that's basically the replacement for this one, but this is still way better than that is in my opinion. You can still find these on discounters now uh, these days, even though it is discontinued. There was obviously so much stock of this that I still think it's gonna be a while before it completely sells out, especially with the new Parfum being out and a lot of people being fans of that one, they might not even try to pick this up anymore. But yeah, that was my uh, second fragrance featured from fragrancenet.com. That website is definitely falling out of favor with people in the community in my opinion. As I said, I don't buy as much from it anymore, but I do think it is still a possible option to find good deals, but it's just not gonna be the top dog for much longer in my opinion. All right, guys, so the next place I'm going to feature is AuraFragrance.com. Uh, I imagine if you've been in a community for any amount of time, you have heard about Aura Fragrance if you're on like some of the Facebook groups, because it seems like every two days someone goes on there and is like, is Aura Fragrance legit? Let me tell you right now, yes, they are, because they are actually a physical store in Houston, Texas, and I have been to one of their stores, and yes, they are legit. However, they are gonna be a little bit different from every other place on here because they're technically not a discounter, they're actually a wholesaler. So they are selling fragrances at wholesale prices versus just giving you a discount on it. So what that really means is their prices for what they sell fragrances for is going to actually beat, in most cases, they're gonna beat out the price that you'll see at any fragrance discounter. The difference is their stock is not going to be as big as a place like Fragrance Net or Fragrance Buy. It's not even close. Very limited supply of stock in terms of what they have to offer compared to some of the larger discounter sites. But what you can find there, you probably are going to find it for an insanely good price. So the first fragrance I'm gonna feature that I got from our fragrance is this right here. This is Parfums de Marley's Halton. Parfum de Marley's Halton. Now I've seen this on discounters a lot more now, but at the time that I got this, if it was at a discounter, it wasn't really discounted that well. They might've been going for like 250, 240, 230 or something like that. I got it at the time for 190 bucks. It might go a little bit cheaper now. This is Parfums de Marley's take on something like Initio's Oud for Greatness, but leaning a little bit more masculine, has a little bit more of an aromatic touch to it, still features that spiciness and the sweetness and the woodiness as well. This was not a blind buy for me. I had smelled it at stores when they finally came, became available in the States, but I saw it for that price. That was definitely the best price that I could find at the time. So I went on ahead and jumped on it. And I'm glad I did because if I'm not mistaken, it sold out shortly after that. It had been on the website for a while and I had kept overlooking it. And I said to myself, if I keep doing it, they're gonna sell out and who knows when they'll get it back. So yeah, Parfums de Marley's Halton. That was one fragrance I got from our fragrance. Oops, I'm over here knocking my stuff down. The next one is going to be this one here from Roja Parfums. This is Elysium Parfum. Roja Parfums Elysium Parfum. This is one I got from R Fragrance and I got this for 260 bucks. At full retail, these basically go for $500. So the fact that I got it for 260 is almost 50% off for one of these. That is a great deal. Still very expensive, but from what you're gonna get in terms of discounts for Roja Fragrances, that's a great deal, especially for the Parfums. This is obviously one of the known to be one of the easiest fragrances to wear from Roja. It's very fruity, it's citrus, it's got an aromatic touch to it. There's a little bit of woodiness and greenness in the background. A million notes in there, but I pick up stuff like uh, the citruses with bergamot and things like that. I pick up a little bit more of the fruitiness now. There's some apple in here as well, but it's a big blend of a lot of stuff that all kind of combines to become an easy to wear pleasant, almost super elegant blue style fragrance from the house of Roja Parfums. So yes, that was my second fragrance featured from rfragrance.com. Check out the website. If you happen to live in the Houston area, you could go to the store, but it's actually better to buy online because online you can get the wholesale pricing period where if you go to the store, you actually have to buy three items before you can get the wholesale pricing. All right, and finally, we have come to the place that as far as I can tell, I have bought the most fragrances from. And as far as I'm concerned, this is the top dog discounter at this current time for buying fragrances, that is fragrancebuy.ca, K 
Canadian website. Only downside with them is the conversion of Canadian dollars to US dollars that can obviously vary the price from day to day. But overall, I think they've got the best selection combined with the best deals and also the best reward system and the best buying experience in my opinion. So first fragrance I'm gonna feature that I've gotten from Fragrance Buy is gonna be this here, Lalique Ombre Noir. Lalique Ombre Noir, let's see, I got this fragrance from Fragrance Buy for 58 bucks. So the fragrance doesn't go for a ton of money anyway. That's a very good purchasing price for a fragrance like this. Uh, it's probably one of the more expensive Lalique fragrances you can get, but this stuff is amazing. In short form, it is basically a cognac barrel mixed with Christmas-like spices. Very high quality for this stuff, features notes like peppermint, there's myrrh, there's tobacco, there's cognac, there's woods. I love this stuff. I can't wait to wear it a little bit later on. I am intentionally saving this fragrance uh, until we get a little bit closer to the holiday season because that's when I want to experience it. You could wear it any other time, of course, but that's I'm just saving this one because that's when I want to wear it. Fragrance Buy, I think, was the first to get this fragrance onto the market in terms of us buying it here in the United States. I actually haven't even looked to see if any other discounters have it, but I know Fragrance Buy had it. It's going for a nice price, as many Lalique fragrances do, so it was a good pickup for me. And last but not least, this is actually the most recent fragrance I have bought from Fragrance Buy, and it's also a new release. This is gonna be Jean-Paul Gaultier's Le Mal Elixir. John Paul Gaultier's Le Mal Elixir. Now, I had discovered this fragrance at Macy's. As far as I know, Macy's is the retailer that had kind of the exclusive rights to making this fragrance available to purchase here in the States. And I was actually gonna buy it at full retail at this size because it was at a price that I thought was really good. I'm glad I waited because literally the a couple of days before I was just gonna go pick it up, this popped up on Fragrance Buy and I said, yep, yeah, that is a better price. I'm gonna grab it. I got it for, let me check real quick. 98 bucks, so 98 bucks. I think it's like 113 or 130, it's like 130 uh, something or something like that at full retail for 75, if I'm not mistaken. I might be wrong about that, but I think it was around that range and this was going for just darn under $100. So I said, yes, that is a good buy. And I was already willing to pay for it at full retail, so I might as well get it at that price. This is gonna be the richest and sweetest version of the original Lamal DNA to date. Has a lot of benzoin and tonka bean in it, but also still features that lavender that made the original so famous. So Lamal Elixir, the last fragrance to be featured from fragrancebuy.ca. I do think they are the best discounter right now. The reward system is insane. Uh, I got their highest reward level, so you get a lot of points earning when you get to that point. There's a lot of ways to earn points. So I think it is a great place to buy fragrances from if you are going to be a collector in particular. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. That was me just kind of sharing some of the places I buy my fragrances from. Thanks for watching all the way until the end. Remember to be well and smell well and shop well, and I will see you in the next episode of The Fragrance Well. Have a good one.